Good morning, y'all. Are you wondering why it's dark? Because it's 5.38 in the morning. I don't know if I'll ever post this or not, but maybe parents understand how I feel. This is, today is September 1st, 2020. And... I feel like I got a child going to school for the first time. This is the first time since August 14th that my husband and I have been away since. Okay, so in case you haven't been following, right? We had a long distance marriage. We were married with distance between us, Texas and Indiana for nine months. Then August 14th, if you watched the previous videos, I went there, caught a flight, caught a flight to Indiana, and we had like a 15 plus hour road trip back to Texas, him finally moving here. So since then, we've been together, moving stuff from my old apartment into this apartment, getting his stuff here, just starting life and living together. Well, we started life together when we got married, but you know what I mean. It's like, it's different when you live together. So the whole nine months I've like been waiting, we've been waiting and planning for this. So for the past two weeks, we've just, we've been together in our new apartment. And now he's starting his new job and he just left. And I'm here standing at the door, <laughs> looking at the door like, okay, what I'm supposed to do now? <laughs> I should have vlogged him actually walking out the door, but everything don't have to be recorded. Some things you just gotta live in the moment. Now I'm stepping outside to see if I can get him driving off. But he probably already drove off. He had to take a box to the dumpster. I'm whispering because I don't want to wake other people up. Hold on, let me secure my phone because I'm about to put my arm over the balcony and I do not need to drop my phone. That's the last thing I need. Let me see if we can see him, y'all. You see that car with the lights? That's him. He has no idea that I'm recording unless he turns around and sees me standing here, but I'm gonna try to hide when he pulls off. And then when he sees this video, it's gonna be a surprise. He got dressed and got his coffee and stuff. And he was saying goodbye. I said, nope, I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. You are not leaving. <laughs> hmm. I mean, we've, I've, I, I, I'll speak for myself. I've been really spoiled for the past two weeks. Do people record stuff like this, y'all? Am I weird? I think I'm weird. I think I'm weird. But, but, inshallah, God willing, five, ten years from now, right, we can look back on this recording and we can reminisce and remember, hey, that's when we were only married for like nine, ten, maybe it's ten months by now. Actually, I think August 19th made ten months. August, September, oh yeah, y'all. 10 months yeah so august 19th made 10 months yes so inshallah when we look back at this video we'll be able to reminisce and say to each other oh that was so cute we were only married for 10 months this is my first time going to work this is our first apartment together blah 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 you see so it may look weird now but in the future it's gonna be really significant inshallah babe come on pull off he must be putting the address in the GPS. <sighs> Come on, babe, so I can get you pulling off. I might have to fast forward this part of the video. You know, it's perfect right now because, y'all, I'm still like, 
I'm still kind of sleepy. So forgive me if I'm stumbling over my words and whatnot. I had classes this morning, but right now I'm on a 30 minute break. So my next class, inshallah, is at six. So I have a few more minutes, which is why I'm out here recording. Somebody's walking up the sidewalk right there. Y'all see that person in dark clothing? I'm pretty sure they see me and this light and they wonder why is this lady outside at five something in the morning? What is she doing? What are you doing outside at five something in the morning, sir? What are you doing? <laughs> I don't think he looked up. He didn't look up. He will see this video later. Bye, Shushu. show y'all my little computer area let me uh, turn the light on over here it's dark oh come on okay so this is i put the i put my desk and everything over there for teaching and you know i really only use it like early in the morning between like four and eight so my husband and i share this space and usually when I'm not using it, he might use it for whatever. So, y'all, it was the last vlog, okay, or the last two. I don't know how I'm going to post this stuff. But it was three boxes on that long counter. You see that? But do you see this open space? Why is that space open? Because, congratulations to me, I got a box emptied. Mm, mm, mm. So, three boxes down to two when I am right here teaching I don't face this way I face the computer but I love all the windows in this apartment I love it because when if the Sun comes up if it comes up if it's not like shadows and a huge glare or what have you then I can open those two windows right there and it illuminates my face really nicely but yesterday morning, it was kind of weird. It was shadows and lines, so it didn't really look nice. So if that ever happens, then I can just keep it closed and just continue to use my little ring light or what have you. But 10 more minutes, okay. And then we kind of use like this open area, all this space right here um, for prayer. And we're going to, inshallah, get some cute little bar stools right here. And this will just be the dining area. I can't wait to get the bar stews. I think um, I want white and silver. And my husband, he's not picky. Like, he is not picky. He's, he's kind of one of those, uh, if my wife is happy, I'm happy. <laughs> so, as, as you can see, the, I have to fix that. Because y'all remember the video where I did the couch cover. So, I just threw that on there. <laughs> I didn't actually flip it and tie it and stuff like that. But the furniture and everything is still pretty much the same um, gray white a little bit of off-white a couple of plants here and there pretty much the same so I want us to try to find some bar stools that are like you know maybe like an off-white color because I don't want like straight straight white the bottom of that stand there is straight white um, the little plant things are straight white and as you can see the couch is kind of like a ivory off type of white and the pillows are kind of like a, a off-white with a, a very, very light hint of blush. And it's really kind of only showing up on camera. So like in the sunlight or whatever, it, nothing looks blush or pink. I think that would just be too much. But I think green and white kind of goes, you know. So I want to find bar stools that are about the color of the couch with um, silver and or chrome accents i think that would just be so cute if i can't find that then maybe even really light gray 
with maybe white and silver accents we'll have to look and see what we can find but i think about maybe three would be really nice because it's a lot of it's a lot of open space right there lots of open space all right y'all it's i really don't have a purpose for this vlog i'm just bored i'm bored and i just feel funny I, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that I'm not gonna say I miss my husband because it's only 553 and he just left like 10 minutes ago don't be ridiculous Levon <sighs> now I'm sitting up here walking around the island babe when you see this video when you see this video this is what I did the first day you went to work I don't know if I'm going to keep vlogging today. I don't even know if the public will ever see this. I have no idea. It depends on how I feel when I run this back. If I feel too silly, then only my husband will see it. But if I feel comfortable and have guts, y'all might see it. I don't know. Bye for now. This could be the end. Could not be. I don't know. I'm sleeping. Less than 10 minutes for my next class. Y'all pray for me. I'm sleepy. Bye. Alright y'all. So it's about 10.50 a.m. And let me show you what I've done. I thought I would. Well. I was kind of sleepy. But now I'm not. <laughs> but um, I finished up some laundry. So I got some things out started putting laundry away have to put that away these are some rugs and a little thing for the bed that i need to hook up so i decided <laughs> to start organizing the closet this is my side terrible 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 i haven't even taken out my scarves i haven't taken out all of my clothes out of the bags and y'all moving 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 I, we just been throwing stuff in the closet everything that belongs in the closet but it's not organized yet so i started to organize my husband's side first i should have gave y'all a before but it wasn't really that it wasn't really great just like my side is not great <laughs> his side was not great i still have some work to do however hold on however i have definitely made some progress honey i'm organizing his shirts long sleeve dress shirts short sleeve semi dress casual shirts short sleeve with the collar he loves like um polo style shirts with this little collar thing here so i have all those in one area and then all of his just kind of um chill under the clothes in the house t-shirts right there then i still have a little pile here to go through um, I also, y'all, these things cost $1 at the dollar store. These little things here, this little cubby thing, $1. So I decided to put his jeans there, some little shorts and stuff here, and then some of his scrubs in that one. So I think that's kind of nice for organization. So that's what I've been doing outside of. Y'all, I was fighting with AT&T on the phone. Woo! They need to come. Okay, so first of all, AT&T has it to where you put the modem in the closet. Because they have this little box back here. Y'all about to hear me sound real annoyed. Because they have the box. Focus. 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 They have the box in the closet. Which is fine. However, in order for you to connect, you have... In order for you to connect, you have to take that red cord and plug that red cord into the back of your modem. And when you plug that red cord into the back of your modem, guess what that means? Your modem has to be in the closet. And that just really annoys me. Like, and I told them about the issue. Basically, the issue is we're paying for 999, up to 999 megabytes per second second on the download and the upload and I'm barely barely getting 200 
I checked one other time, it was around four, but at least let me get half, like, and I know that wireless is slower than wired. However, I shouldn't be getting like 180, 190 megabytes per second on the download and upload when I'm paying for 999, even on wireless. So y'all, I got a technician coming out. Hopefully, hopefully they will fix this because I need my internet to be, hello honey. I need my internet to be the speed that we're paying for. Sugar. Huh, honey sugar, are you going to help me finish organizing this closet? Uh, she trying to find a hiding spot. All right, y'all. So, I don't know if I'm going to do my side. My side is a hot mess. A hot mess. This is just bad. I haven't even taken stuff out of the bags. Like I said, this is just bad. Usually I have my scarves and stuff organized by color and these things I'm just whew I got a pile of stuff this is embarrassing. I don't even know why I'm showing y'all this, but this is the job that I have to do. So I may do my side uh, another day this week, but I'm definitely going to be able to finish his side. Because I love the fact that he's not um he doesn't have like he don't have this going on, basically. He don't have this type of situation going on. His situation is a lot easier. <laughs> a lot easier. So, I'm going to do this and, um, yeah, probably do my hair. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe find something on Netflix. Is anybody else tired of watching movies during quarantine? I'm like, can y'all please give me something good to watch? the movies and the series and things that I'm watching I'm like okay some stuff is great but a lot of stuff is just kind of for the passage of time I want something really good to watch so I have Netflix I have um, Amazon Prime I don't have Hulu so if y'all have suggestions for Netflix and Amazon Prime then please let me know like I don't know how today is going to go I'm just trying to busy myself Swahili, girl. Swahili, say hi to the people. Sw Swahili, you. Swahili. So, so. Hey, hey. Hi, baby. Hey, come here, mama's baby. Come here, girl. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So I'm doing a a portion of my side. I don't know if I'm going to <laughs> get through everything, but. <laughs> At least I can uh, <laughs> take the, some of these clothes out of the bags. So if you don't know this little trick, it's so helpful. You can get like really big gallon trash bags like so, right? And you take a handful of your clothes, um, whatever you're comfortable with. But as you can see, I have like this, what, four, eight, about eight hangers. So, and it also depends, of course, on the thickness of the clothing. So I comfortably maybe anywhere from five to eight possibly um so my husband's hands of course are much bigger than mine so the eight would worked but if i was by myself i would probably only do probably five maybe even four but anywho you turn the trash bag upside down this is the bottom this is the bottom of the trash bag and you just poke a little hole and you leave all your clothes um hung up and you just poke them through that hole and then Okay, pretend like this is fixed. Pretend like that's fixed, okay? It's fixed. You can see bottom of the trash bag. And then the top of the trash bag, you come down here and you just tie it. And if your clothes are very long, like these clothes are long and the trash bag is not super duper long, you just stuff them up in the bottom. And if you want, you can put tape or what have you. But it's such a nice way to transport your clothes that are hung up without having to take them off the hanger so <laughs> uh since we've been here which it has been around like august 17th um i just kind of threw these in here and i've been kind of just tearing the bags open to see what's what and just grabbing out what i need but it's time for me to you know completely take the bags off and you know get my side of the closet situated i've been lazy for long enough so a very easy way to do this of course be very careful not to cut your clothes but you just bring them to your new spot or whatever hang them up and let me do this with my other hand y'all my right hand is my strong hand <laughs> so you just 
you can just cut the bags off you can tear them off too whatever you want but you will really only need one side off and you just snatch you can snatch the bags down and you just throw the bags away and you have your clothes already on the hanger it is so nice i had already started to do this one here and i was like oh let me record so i can show them you can also cut the other side too but pretty much you can just take it down like that and your clothes uh, uh. Uh, uh. hold on y'all <laughs> something is stuck <laughs> Ooh, come on there we go got it it was stuck on one of the hangers so you just snatch off the bag bam trash that's it everybody probably probably knows that i don't know but when i discovered it i think i discovered it i don't know a couple of years ago ever since i saw it i was like oh i'm never doing it the other way like never this way is just so nice so nice so y'all use that if y'all didn't know about it. Make sure you use that the next time you move. So let me keep making progress. Y'all, hello, look at my side. I'm making progress. <gasps> oh, so I have um, a lot of my multicolored dresses and jumpers and little um, thin strap dresses back here. Just a lot of different colors. And then I decided to do this little cute color coordination thing. I have a slight obsession with whites and creams. Um, and this is my new obsession. It's like dusty rose type of color. Loving that right now. And I always have an obsession with denim. Some of these are doubled. <laughs> I really like denim. It's a dress in there. Mm -mm -mm. It's I think that's a jumper or a dress in there. It's a dress in there. <laughs> so yeah, most of those are doubled. Yeah, so I can save space. Look, look at this cute thing I did. I put the clothespins there because this dress here, as you can see, it fits on the hanger. However, um, it's it kind of goes like right on the shoulder. I re it's so cute. I love it. Got it when I was in Senegal. Um, so if I just leave it on the hanger, it is definitely going to come off of the edges. It'll just slide right off. Probably a combination of the material and the style. So I was like, let me just put a clothespin right here and right here. And that keeps it on. One of my favorite dresses. It makes me look like a baby doll. If you can kind of see, it flares out at the bottom. I just, I love it. It's so cute. It makes me, when I wear it, I feel like, I feel like I'm like 16 or something. <laughs> It's just so, so baby dollish, so cute. I love it. So that's an idea, y'all. If you have something that slides off and you want to stay, just put some clothes hangers. All right, let me keep making progress. All right, y'all. So it's right around 2 p.m. now. Probably a little bit before, a little bit after. I don't know. Somewhere really close to 2 p.m. Mm, so it looks like I am vlogging my entire day. <laughs> So the AT&T guy just left, okay? Y'all, I don't know if you remember what I showed y'all earlier. If not, rewind. But he changed the whole, whatever was there evidently was old. <laughs> so that's gone. And he put this very simple little thing and not all that three tri connector, whatever that was there. And look at the box. Look! That old, oh, what's this? Oh, it looks like a piece of a wall hmm okay I'll get it I don't want to touch it with my bare hands so so the black little old school box I didn't even know it was old he told me he said um now they want us to put the new boxes so y'all it's all oh you can see Fulani hiding Fulani say hey to the people girl say hey to the people girl Aww. You scared because you heard that guy's voice and you smelled him and you're not, you're not familiar with him? No, it's okay. You don't have to be scared. He's gone. Okay, so, yeah, y'all, this is like, this is new. Look at this. I don't know if, I'm, I, don't know if I should show that. I don't think I should show this part on camera. <laughs> I don't think y'all can do anything with it, but 
better safe than sorry but anywho look i didn't even know at had eight I didn't even know AT&T had boxes like this. Why am I whispering like somebody can hear me? Because I'm just too excited. Like, just this box makes me feel like, okay, we good now. So now I have to, you know, go connect. Um, we'll reset the, they give you this whole, you know, those long, complicated passwords. But you can set it to whatever password you want. So I have to go redo that. But I'm hoping now that our speeds will be a lot better. I'll run a speed test outside of AT&T's network because that's what tells you your real speeds. If you go to AT&T's website or to their app and run a speed test, it's probably going to tell you your speeds are good, but they really were not. So I'm kind of excited to see. I had to move all of my clothes out of the way after all that hard work I did, but it'll be easy. I'll just scoot them right back over, you know. But I hope this is I hope this is going to work. I'll update y'all later. I'm about to go cook. I'm going to do some cabbage and cornbread and I think maybe some sweet potatoes and possibly some um, catfish but not like whole catfish just like catfish nuggets I don't know maybe or salmon I think catfish nuggets yeah I don't know I'll figure it out I'll, I'll show y'all <laughs> so oh another update my, I'm not showing myself right now because uh, my head and everything is not covered my husband is coming back earlier than what I thought, so it's not like a full day orientation thing. So I'm like, okay, let me just speed up everything I was doing. So the closet looks pretty good. I kind of low-key wanted to surprise him. I put that stuff up there. Y'all know how I did the clothes. I'm just going to move those back over like I said. That stuff up there is a few of those things I'm going to give away or try to sell possibly just give away so i don't have the headache of trying to sell it and then some of the stuff behind you can kind of see the pins in it that stuff i have to sew so just have that stored right there that's a jewelry box it's really big <laughs> my sister gave that to me and i cleaned out all of that right there those are in my bins oh if y'all i don't even think i told y'all so i don't really hang up all of my clothes just some of them i have a bin for like uh, my tops and then this other bin over here is for my bottoms and then i put some of my cold clothes as i call them you know the cold the clothes you wear when it's winter time or whatever i put those in another closet that's still good Oh, I took down the second thing so he can have space and I put that right there. So I'll have to put that back over here. I don't know if I'm going to put my scarves in today or not. It just depends on how I feel. Um, and then my husband's side is pretty good. Oh, that is yarn. That big, this big one, that's all my yarn <laughs> that I use to make orders. And that bag is even more yarn that I use to make orders. So this looks pretty good. I think he's going to be surprised when he sees this because it was, it didn't look like this when he left. So yeah. Okay. I'll show y'all, I guess, what the food looks like in a little bit. <laughs> What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Look, look, look on the day. Look on the day. Here's your bag. You're welcome. You like it? It's these are long sleeve shirts, and these are. So these are long sleeves, sir. I don't went through this detail and organization. <laughs> and this is the whole housing. Yes, you see it? Shortly. You, yeah, you see jacket, it. You pants. see it, yes, you see it. <laughs> so I was thinking, okay, I know I found my uh, scrubs yesterday. Uh-huh. 
But I put I all am, I put all this. When I was out on my way here, uh -huh. I said, well, I, I'm wearing scrubs tomorrow. Uh -huh. I know I found yesterday somewhere. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna say, oh, I'm gonna clean it out. It's somewhere in my stuff. <laughs> right there. Right there. Oh, and look what else I did. Look at the door. I found a hook for a oh, towel. <laughs> but I have the same thing for me too. That's we both beautiful. have a hook for our towel because we haven't been really having anywhere to put it. Oh. So now we have hooks. Wow, awesome. Thank you, baby. I started my side, but you know, I'm not finished. <laughs> but I started. Actually, yes, you know, when I was putting myself yesterday, uh -huh. I said maybe I'm gonna leave this empty for you. Oh because I'm tall enough to reach over there. Yeah. So if you if you need space, all you can have. You can have all these things. Uh, because every, my, every, this is all I have, right? I, th I think you probably have a, a, another handful in yes. one of the yeah, cases in there. Everything fit here. Yeah, it will everything all fit. Here. Yeah. Actually, this is not even full. Yeah, that's not full, yeah. right? I just left it open in case, you know, yeah. to leave you with space to do right, what you right. want to do, but right. I just want to see if you like it. Oh, yeah. I would do better. Yeah. Than and you still have space on the bottom if you want to put shoes and stuff. Or... So, you think I would do better than this? <laughs> yeah, I would. Oh, so y'all, he likes it, he likes it. So, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, my voice was a little hoarse there. So, these are the sweet potatoes. I make mine a little bit differently than like the traditional way that I saw my grandmother or mom making them. So, I keep mine very light. All I put is coconut oil. Uh, little bit of cloves if you're not used to cloves just be very careful they're pretty strong this is also these two right here is also really good if you have a toothache because you can make a paste and you put it on your um, gums and it has a natural numbing effect so just fyi <laughs> a little bit of nutmeg nutmeg seems to uh, nutmeg tends to make me sleepy so i go a little easy on the nutmeg some cinnamon and then a little bit of maple syrup and I had a you know a little bit of salt just to you know um, cut the some of the blandness of the sweet potatoes but I don't I don't sweet potatoes have their own distinct type of sweetness guys so I don't necessarily dump pounds of sugar or other sweetener into sweet potatoes they're already naturally sweet so i feel like putting a whole bunch of another sweetener in there 
takes away what they have naturally you know what I mean so I just use just a little bit of maple syrup um, in the past I've used a little bit of honey um, you can use agave if you if you use sugar um, I would just suggest using a little bit of sugar not dumping like two whole cups of sugar in there you know <laughs> making them into um, those sweet 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 things there you know let it be healthy let it be healthy and then this is my um, cabbage I like to do my cabbage in a skillet, so I guess you can say it's kind of like, oh, y'all, look at this one little piece of cabbage on that thing that's still green. I guess it never got cooked. It got stuck in there. That's funny. But um, I like to do my cabbage in a skillet. Yes, that's what I was saying. And so it's kind of, I guess, basically sauteed, semi-fried. So I love this texture. I don't, I don't really like to boil my cabbage because I feel like that kind of makes it way too soft and takes out some of the nutrients. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice, but this, like I love this texture. I love that. And for my cabbage, we got a little bit of juice down there at the bottom. Let's see. So what I did here, um, two types of vinegar. ACV and white vinegar also some olive oil it's over with now olive oil some um, coconut aminos a lot of this stuff if you've seen it in my other videos I've already I've shown you before but <clears throat> just in case you forgot or just in case you are new to the channel I always like to show things again and repeat because I know not everyone watches every single video so and then some minced garlic. That's what I have in here along with um, some parsley, a little bit of salt, a little bit of red pepper. Um, I think I put onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder. Definitely didn't want to overdo that because I have the minced garlic. I'm trying to see if I put something else in there. I think that's it. <laughs> and then the cornbread, which to be completely open with you, I'm not too happy about. I don't usually mess up my cornbread, but today I wanted to try a, a wider, flatter pan, which doesn't really work for me. It's just, I don't know. I don't really like the texture. I feel like it's a little, let me just cut this and show y'all. I feel like it's a little, it's not as moist. That's the word I'm looking for. Y'all, I'm sleepy. <laughs> it's not as um, moist as I want it to be. It's just... It's kind of like crumbly. It's just, yeah, yeah, like that. You see, so I don't really like it like that. So I feel like not only did I leave it in a little bit too long, despite the fact that it looks a little light skinned, it don't it? Skinned it, 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 it right? I, I tend to like it a little bit darker, but with this one here, like I said, I think it's the pan. It's wider and it's not. Um, it doesn't have the depth that I usually have when I'm making cornbread so that really had an effect on it plus I ran out of almond slash coconut milk <laughs> and I was like well let me just go ahead and tweak the recipe and it's just it's not my best cornbread it's edible it's okay but it's not my best I also feel like I over sweetened it I usually um, slightly sweeten my cornbread and I usually use honey but today I've been on maple syrup and I think I poured a little bit too much maple syrup so it kind of tastes like cake but then it's all flaky so it's kind of like a messed up cookie cake <laughs> but it's edible it tastes okay it's just dry as heck <laughs> and then of course our little mock fried fish because it's actually baked what was i gonna show you i think no i think that's it no, i think that's it and it's um already 8 25 we basically only had cabbage and cornbread for lunch and then because he wasn't very hungry i wasn't very hungry and then i just finished these two later on and i think right now neither of us are really very hungry so we might taste it but we might actually like eat eat tomorrow inshallah <laughs> what you doing, babe? Trying to sneak up on me. <laughs> you want to say goodnight to the people? I'm about to end the vlog. 
I've been vlogging since 5.38 this morning off and on. Babe. Where he ran off to? Come here, you wanna say bye to the vlog? Yeah. I'm about to end the vlog. <laughs> say good night. Good night. Peace, Did blessings, love, and light. Peace, blessing, love, and light. God be with you. God be with you. <laughs> you see the contrast? Yes. Huh? Yes. Inshallah. Bye, y'all.